Hey guys, it's me Luke Mick again, and this video is um, basically a review of the new Evil Dead remake trailer for 2013. Now, first of all, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, check it out with this link. And because uh, if you don't, if you haven't seen the trailer, you don't know what I'm gonna be talking about. It's just a teaser trailer, but they still show a lot. Like it's not just a bunch of words. There's action and all that stuff. So first of all, with this movie. Um, uh, I'd say about eight, sometime in the spring, um, this, I think the company's name is Awards Pictures, they basically were just saying that they were gonna, like, do a Evil Dead remake, and, um, yeah, so they got the, all the actors together, and they started making it, and they, they worked on it, I think, quite a bit, and then Sam Raimi found out the, like, basically, owner you could say of the the whole original series and by the way if you haven't noticed i'm wearing a s smart shirt from army of darkness shop smart shop s smart you know so anyways i got a little off track there but as i was saying um awards pictures sam raimi sam raimi ended up suing them i think for taking like his uh, copyright or like his his series without him knowing and without like proper documents and all that and basically that <clears throat> their evidence for them to be able to make the movie was just like saying that they read in a book that Sam Raimi wrote that he was never gonna go back to the Evil Dead series and do anything with it and uh, basically they just thought that would just let them make a movie of their own even though he said he wasn't gonna go back to it which is makes no sense so, a couple months later, I believe, Sam Raimi won the trial, or whatever you want to call it. He won the court order. I don't know how he lost stuff, but, uh, yeah, that's basically the backstory. But, also, rumors before, um, there was a rumor for a while that they were gonna, like, either do... Sam Raimi was either gonna do a remake, or, like, a sequel to Army of Darkness, so Evil Dead 4. And they wanted this guy to, uh come back as Ash, that was one of the rumored actors, and, uh, let's be honest, no one wants to see, uh, Stifler playing Ash, there's only one real Ash, and that is Bruce Campbell, so, yeah, just get out of here, Stifler, no one wants you, so anyways, um, if, so by now you should have seen the trailer, and, um, I'm just gonna tell you what I thought about the trailer, uh, Obviously, it's a Red Band trailer, like it said, so it's uncensored, and, um, I was watching it, and I was actually pretty surprised, um, it didn't look as bad as I would have ever thought it would be, like, it, like a remake of Evil Dead, like, it looked better than I was expecting, like I kind of said, um, one thing I really like is that when I was noticing with the, like, violent scary scenes I guess you could say like with all the blood and everything they weren't using any of that crappy CGI they were using old school special effects is what it looked like they had uh I know the uh, uh face paint and makeup and all that stuff it wasn't like any cheap CGI jaw splitting crap um, when she had her arm kind of infected she had to actually it just it, it just wasn't CGI like it looked like they just had a bunch of makeup on and it actually looks really cool that's what I like about the original one so much the special effects are just awesome I mean old school effects like that are so cool but when you ruin a horror movie with CGI it just makes it look really like wasted it just makes it look really dumb and like they didn't put any effort into it like if you guys saw the thing remake that movie sucked the CGI and that was so bad it, it's just there's no fun in that i don't think and uh another cool thing i guess well it seems like uh they're taking a lot of the like big moments from the original series and putting it in like you know in evil dead 2 ash has to chop his hand off because it kind of gets like possessed or whatever and there's a part where i already mentioned the girl has to cut her arm off from like up here or something like that and uh obviously they bring the chainsaw back and there's some guy chainsawing it's base it looks almost like the same exact story they go down the stairs get the the necronomicon all that crap so i mean it's staying true but it, the, another thing is though like it has different characters so i i don't think they're going to be bringing ash back and i'm actually happy because like i said earlier um only bruce campbell can play ash so i'd rather they just make uh brand new characters for a new story so i mean 
that's some cool stuff about it. But I mean, obviously, I have my doubts. I mean, the the original trilogy, the series, it's just they're all classics. You know what I mean? And I don't want them to be kind of ruined by this. I don't. I know. I don't think they'll be ruined themselves. But I just want this movie to be able to do them good and say that you know we gave it our best and we actually got something good out of this. I mean, I it's too early to tell whether or not this is going to be like any good or not. I mean, the trailer, it's all the trailer. I like the trailer. It was like I said, it's more than I expected and I'm pretty impressed, but I mean, I just still have my doubts cuz we haven't seen enough in like stuff for it yet. We don't the trailer it didn't really have much of a story or like any of the background development on the characters it didn't really show them at all it was just all the um special effects and all that and i like how they did bring back the whole tree camera viewer the tree it's like flying through the woods i always liked that but i mean all in all i'm i'm feeling okay about it it's just like i can't completely trust it yet i mean i want to hear what you guys think so leave a comment below but i mean yeah, I don't know. I'll I'll have more updates on this because this is obviously a huge topic and I'm really into it because I love the movies and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on. But I mean, I don't know, there's just something fishy about it. I mean, and also I guess Bruce Campbell, he had seen the trailer back in the Comic-Con days and uh, he said that I guess it was like worth it. Not worth it, but I mean the movie was worthwhile and it was it's going to do the fans good and it's really going to it's gonna make people happy, and I, I mean, I trust Bruce, but I mean, I just, I don't know, I just want to hear what you guys think, because there's, there's just something, uh, can't describe it, I just don't feel comfortable about it, because, you know, most remakes usually suck, like, I'm getting sick of those Texas Chainsaw ones, they should just stop, now 3D is coming out in January, they, some franchises just have to learn when to quit, but Evil Dead is nowhere near dying, but they just, they need something good. And uh, that's about it. So just subscribe. And I'll have more videos for you guys, obviously. And I'll keep you updated on this. And um, tomorrow, I'm going to have to do some more reading on this. But the whole Star Wars thing, I'm sure a lot of you already know about that. Um, episode 7 and the whole Disney thing. I can possibly cover that tomorrow if I find enough info to, and to back me up. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good Halloween night.